Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to be uh, um, consistent. You know, that's the biggest thing for me. Uh, just show that I can go out and play, and I can play multiple positions and and uh, do it well. So um, a lot of the quarterbacks have hit me with a lot of trust throws, um, which is a compliment. Um, those guys are throwing it to me in really tight windows, it seems, and they seem to be getting tighter and tighter. Um, but from last year to this year, I mean, it's been – I've grown a lot. You know, I kind of bounced around last year for a little while and being able to come in and learn the playbook again and learn um, how we're going to run things and re-identify this team uh, this year. Um, I've grown a lot, um, but it's been exciting, man. It's been everything I've dreamed of. Um, I love this place. I love this team. So it's been really fun. What was the validation like getting that touchdown on Saturday night? Yeah, it was exciting. Uh, first thing I could think of was my mom. Um, and, you know, I did a little celebration, but I realized that I spun the ball and I didn't want the ref to get it. So you kind of see me switch back and, like, where's the ball at? I kind of panicked. So um, first thing I thought of was my mom, though. I, I got to get my mom the ball because that's something I've always told her I was going to do whenever I score is I'm going to give you the ball, I'm going to find you, and I'm going to give it to you. So it was awesome. Yeah, um, I came from a high school that won three games in four years. Uh, I went three and 37 in high school. Um, I actually was committed to play D1AA at a D1AA school. Uh, I got my offer pulled from me with two games left in my senior year. So um, kind of, I was already committed, so I kind of wrote everybody else off, um, visited some D2 schools, some NAI schools, and Barry College hit me up. Uh, wanted me to come on a visit, and I wasn't so sure. Me being a naive 17-year-old kid was like, I had a D1 offer on the table. I don't want to go D3. Um, but my next-door neighbor actually played softball at Barry, so we ended up going on the visit. I loved it. Um, got put on a work scholarship program there, so I worked a full-time job while I was at Barry to pay for my school because they don't offer athletic scholarships. And uh, we, we had a lot of fun. We won a lot of games. Uh, they just won their fifth straight conference championship, and I think I lost one game at home the four years I was there, so um, it was awesome. But I believe God's plan's perfect, and I ended up where I was supposed to be. Uh, I worked in the athletic department, so my boss was Derek Taylor. He's the assistant athletic director. Um, I was kind of just his assistant. Whatever he needed, I, I had to do, whether it was um, working in the fitness center, whether it was campus scheduling, whether it was, you know, it was kind of all over the place, um, jack of all trades, I guess. How'd you get, how'd you get noticed from Barry College by NFL scouts? Uh, I think you just have to dominate whenever you go to a to a small school. You have to pop out on film, um, just show why you don't necessarily belong in that division or in that league. So the biggest thing for me was just trying to show consistency and show that I can dominate and play at a really high level. Um, and then the stats kind of just spoke for themselves. The the stats kind of popped off the sheet, and then um, my junior year is when scouts started kind of coming by the school and talking to me. Well, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's always been my dream. Uh, since I was seven years old, I told my mom I wanted to play in the NFL. So, um, and I never really lost focus. I knew I was at a D3 school, and I knew that it was going to take a lot. Um, and I just stayed laser focused on that. I knew what it was going to take, and I knew how I had to kind of approach it. And that was my mindset. So um, I just tried to do everything that I could to put myself in the best situation, and it, and it all played out.